Hello, it is Friday evening. I don't know, 7 30, 8 o'clock. I don't know. And Roxy and I are going to go do storm assessment. We have not been to the end of my street, not one time. Today is day five after, well, barrel was Monday. Today's day five in the aftermath. And uh, we're still on generator power, so, you know, thank God we have electricity. Um, we went through about 112 gallons of propane, so thank God we were able to get it replenished. Um, $3.30 a gallon, almost $400. So. We're good for another three, four, or five days. I don't know, maybe four days. Um, so we are praying that the power will get restored so that we can shut this generator off. It's been going 120 hours. Thank God it's working perfectly. And that every time I pass by it, I'm like, kudos to you, Big Mama Jamma. That's what I call her. Thank you, and I thank God, and I pray to God, please, like I do every time I get in the truck and get on the freeway, I say, thank you, God, for my perfectly working vehicle, working perfectly as long as I need it, and that's what I pray over this generator. Thank you, God, that this generator works perfectly as long as we need it. Um, so we're going down to the end of my road, and uh, m most every house had a pile of debris like this, most every house, and but the city has come by and picked up most of it. Uh, they could not pick mine up because um, some uh, a la uh, the, uh, the trash cans was put in front of it, and so it prevented them from being able to reach it. The um, trash cans were in between the pickup trucks and the debris. But anyway, it looks like most of the cleanup has happened. We're waiting on Centerpoint to come and restore the lines, and they have not been able to because downed trees were on the lines well now the word on the street is the trees have been cleared so now we're waiting for them to come in here and restore the lines um the thing is is on the right hand side is the south side of my street and they are on one transformer the left hand side is the north side and they are on a different transformer I've lived here 15 years and I've known that and so you know we will lose power on the right on the left but the right will not and uh, for the first time in 15 years this is the first time we ever heard this word today we heard today that it's not just um, a transformer that blew it's not just power lines that was hit by a tree. It's a tower. It is a tower. And, and the tower is in Liberty County. I'm waiting for these people to go around me. So that's a whole nother issue. But we just, we don't know how accurate that is. And speaking of truth and reporting and accuracy and all this fun stuff. This is another why, reason why I am out doing a little cruise around. We had a woman on our neighborhood Facebook group post that the center point trucks were here. Her exact words were, they're here, they're on the street. And then a bunch of people followed by commenting, yes, I saw them. Yes, they were down the street here. They were down around the corner here. I saw them here. I saw them there. And these same people post pictures of their yard sale. They post pictures of the deer in their backyard. They post pictures of missing dogs. But they can't post a picture of the most important thing that everybody's waiting on. Everybody, with bated breath. Um, so, <laughs> I asked. I, I, I wanted to say, are the center point trucks in the room with us right now? Because, uh, according to my uh, ex exterior surveillance cameras, no center point trucks came or went. And as you go past houses, you can hear the ones that have a generator. Um, neither do my sister's cameras show and neither do her neighbor's cameras show that center point trucks have come and go. So I very delicately posed a question. And as we come through this loop, there have been no center point trucks. As you have seen, there are no center point trucks. Um, so <laughs> I very delicately posted on the Facebook group, um, you know, I, 
I rarely go to the end of this road. I'm not familiar with it down on that end. Is there a different entrance? Is it possible that those trucks could have come any other way than accessing uh, this road from the main road? Because I, I don't know if there's a, another road back this way. I don't know. Um, and so the lady responded and said, oh, they probably left already. So I'm angry. I'm angry because you've got people who are very stressed out by this and it doesn't matter that you have a generator it doesn't matter because how many times can you afford to fill it with four hundred dollars worth of propane thank god we were able to do that but don't mess with my emotions don't get me stirred up happy excited thinking something's going on when it's not and oh here's a bad tree down so i'm not familiar with this very very back part of my neighborhood i've been back here on my four-wheeler before I think but it's been years but I'm just really not familiar with this area so I don't know why this truck is behind me let's see what's going this way is that no that's not a street that's a house um, and maybe this vehicle in front of me maybe they're doing the same thing I am but anyway so I was on a recon of sorts uh, checking out seeing what's going on no there's no center point trucks here I, I wish there were I would love to be able to say, yep, yeah, there sure were trucks here. I would have loved to have been able to say that. But it looks like it's all for naught. All for naught. Let's see if I can get out of here with one hand. Hold on, Roxy Roo. Backing up. So, unfortunately, it looks like we have fallen victim to um a, not so much a karen what maybe it's a becky maybe it's a becky or a, a a bwb you know what a bwb is basic white I, I think that's what i think that's what we're dealing with a bwb so yeah uh got my emotions up got me all excited for nothing um you know, if it was true that those trucks were on this road, it's very, very possible our power could be restored by now. Very possible. So, a lot of people have said Saturday, and of course the estimates that the uh, media has put out has been uh, worst case scenario Sunday. If, that, if that's true, great, fine, wonderful. But don't be attention seeking and saying center point trucks are here when they are not. Uh... If it happens again, I will say something. I will say something that's not very grown up. We have elderly people in our neighborhood who do not have generators, don't have air conditioning. Uh, we've got uh, disabled people in the neighborhood that don't have air conditioning. And on top of that, you don't want to play with their emotions. That It's not fair. It's not right. So I'm angry. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm just really fired up over this. Very, very angry. Uh, Roxy was really looking forward to seeing some center point fellas from Alabama. Um, how dare y'all let a little puppy down like that? Y'all know how she loves the boys. Okay, maybe it's me, but what, 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 whatever. We're good. Whatever. So, we're making the trip back down. One of the naysayers said that the trucks were down around the corner. So, let's go down to Eagle Drive and see what's going on there. Oh, my goodness. Poor Ruru. I went a little too fast. Her max speed without taking flight with those ears, I think it's 18 miles an hour and I was going 25. That's well below the speed limit for Center Point. I'm sorry, Ch Cherry Point. <laughs> the, the fellow that has Baytown Hat Company, really nice fellow, he is, uh, I hope he makes a fortune selling hats that say Center Point Less. I thought that was pretty funny when he he posted and said that he's thinking of making those hats. I wouldn't buy one. I look wonderful in hats, but it messes up my hair. So, And I have a really big head, so it's kind of embarrassing. But hang on, Roxy. Hang on, good girl. You're doing a good job. So, no center point trucks. When I get home, I will report to my neighbor and let her know. It was a ruse there's my neighbor's house right there it was a ruse it was an attention seeking ruse 
so let's somebody said they were on Eagle Drive and if so all right good deal Roxy came in so let me close the windows if so if oh these people are living in their RV that's smart very smart and there's smoke up here that's either from a flare I hope it's a flare and not you see the smoke to the left it's probably a flare I hope nothing's on fire Wow that is a flare, but that is a big flare. Goodness. Let's see what's going on down here. If center point trucks were staged, they would be down here at this church. Logically. Friday night drive. Let's see, can we see the flare? I'll just go on 146. Something else logical on 146, where if trucks were to be staged, they would be on at the Hillside Church. Roxy's taking a little break. Oh, I didn't put my, are my lights on? Yeah, I guess they are. So, center point trucks are not at that ch church or that accounting office. Not like that other person said they were. So, let's go down here to Highway 146 and turn left, also known as South. Gotta know your directions, folks. When the zombies come, we will not have GPS. So we need to know which way is left and which way is right. Okay, here is Highway 146. If you turn right, you would be going north. Also, heading to Cleveland or Dallas. Oh, poor baby. She thought I was going to turn the, open the windows. So, there is a big old flare going on over here. Wow. Actually, uh, when I was out and about earlier today, I saw three, but they were not big like that. And in the time it took us to get up here, it's it's extinguished. Boy, this is a missed opportunity. Here I am out and about. Perfect opportunity. I'm on approach to Dairy Queen, and my purse is at home. Hope I don't get stopped again, because I don't even have my driver's license with me. My purse is at home. It's looped on the cabinet in the kitchen because my plan was to change it out. I mean, it just felt like Saturday today. Um, my employer, he has no electricity. He is dead in the water. I am very proud of myself. I have done a lot of work for him on generator power and, and while saving power at the same time. Isn't she a good little sweet baby? Roxy's the best girl. She's wearing her seatbelt. Y'all always wear your seatbelt for safety when you're driving, even if you're a little doggy. So let's see if there's center point trucks staged up here at the Hillside Church. And if not, we'll just circle back and go home. But um, anyway, the whole point of this is I'm ranting. I'm ranting that, um, yeah, I'm grateful that we have a generator, but it's just going to last so long. It's only going to last so long. And don't be teasing people. See, here's the Hillside Church, and there's no truck staged in that parking lot. Uh, it makes me angry when people are attention-seeking like that. It goes along with, you'll see a Facebook post, and somebody will post something, and you'll have a thousand people saying, Way to go. That's wonderful. Good job. Well, if you join in and agree with everybody not going to get much attention are you but if you go the opposite way you will so that that's what we're doing here you've got people crying whining ranting about no center point trucks no news and so hey the way i'm going to get attention is if i say they are here the trucks are here and that that's what's going on i really think that's what the deal is somebody wants attention for stupid stuff. So this light up here, I'm going to turn left and go home. If you are not from this area, this area here, Mont Bellevue, it's known for being on a salt dome. My whole life, every time, if I was in the car with a family member,